So if you've ever been to the Aria Hotel and Casino on the Las Vegas Strip, I'm sure you've noticed these two crazy looking buildings right next to it. So those two buildings are called the Veer Towers and they're inside the city center of the Las Vegas Strip, which is comprised of the Aria, the Waldorf Astoria, the shops, like the crystal shops and stuff like that. And then you got the Veer Towers. And today we're getting a tour of it from a friend of mine named Dakota who lives there. I've never ever been inside before, so I'm pretty excited to check it out. Let me introduce you guys. This is Hi. Dakota. And what uh, what do you do here? And when, when did you move to Vegas, by the way? So I moved to Vegas just over a year ago um, from up in Canada. So it was a big change, but uh, yeah. I do like Vegas quite a bit. And yeah, I moved here, so I work in kind of events and exhibitions uh, for a sports and entertainment company. And so we launched a property, um, a Princess Diana exhibit here in Vegas. And so kind of part of my job is to head to wherever the new property is, get it set up and running, and then on to the next one. So we'll see what's next, but I'm, I'm in Vegas for the time being. Anyway. And you've always been at Veer? Yeah, yeah, whole time okay. I've been at Veer, so I'm, uh, I'm definitely a little biased, but it's, uh, it's a great spot to live. So this is a studio? This is a studio. So they have studios, one bedrooms, two bedrooms, I think three, but I can't confirm that. And then obviously penthouses where, you know, you get a lot more space to yourself. I cheaped out the studio, but it's me and my girlfriend, so we don't need much space. And we like spending time together. <laughs> yeah, no, this is sick, dude. This is so cool. So despite it being a studio, there's actually quite a bit of storage space. So we got a little kind of cupboard up here, closet here, it's a mess, but forgive me. <laughs> uh, and then bathroom, we got this. So it's got like, yeah. you know, and then... And the kitchen too, look at all that. Exactly, kitchen's got a ton. There's a couple Raiders that have places here, but there's also like the, there's pro poker players. Um, you know, a lot of people, it seems anyway, a lot of people kind of have this as, you know, whether it's second home or just kind of their Vegas escape. Mm -hmm. And so it's, you know, kind of funny to see, you know, on a regular weekend where there's nothing special going on, you know, the building seems like maybe it's half full. When there's a big fight night or, you know, I can guarantee when F1 comes around, it's packed and like it seems like everybody has come in just for that. So like everything, it ebbs and flows with yeah. Vegas and whatever's going on in Vegas. This is where we got the amenities that, you know, you want to write home about. <laughs> So yeah, we can go this way first. And then, yeah, obviously, as I said, when you get higher oh, up, cool. you get the real, the real good views. Right? This is insane! Oh my god! So there's Cosmo. You can see the fountains, obviously. Exactly. Right. And then here's the gym. Nice, yeah, really nice. Veer's got two different towers, east and west, and kind of everything you see in the west tower 
they have in the East Tower just mirrored and flip-flopped. Whether you're part of the East or West, you can use your fob and get anywhere you want. So if gym's full over here, you can head over there. If you know pool's closed down, go over there, that kind of thing. So it's, uh, awesome. yeah, it's nice. You kind of get double of everything. So one of the other kind of cool things about uh, living in beer is you get a like beer passport and that is essentially it's kind of partnerships with uh, whether it's casinos, restaurants, or whatever around the area. And so, you know, certain restaurants, you'll get 20, 30% off. Um, you know, you get access to use certain pools and amenities at other places. And so, you know, being here, you're not like, although the building has a lot, you're not kind of stuck here for what you need. And you can go, you know, use some of the other things without having to pay, you know, far too much for it. So what do you think? I think it's beautiful. Like I would actually yeah. really like living there. Um, the pool areas are beautiful too. Everywhere up there has a great view of the strip. And yeah. Yeah. It's just, it's also such new property, like good quality stuff, nice and clean, you know? <laughs> it smelled good in there too. Yeah. So that's nice. It feels like a resort, and but even like more clean. And those yellow panels that you see on the outside of the building, they're actually not they're not ruining the view that much, you know, you can still have oh, a yeah. decent view through the panels. So uh -huh. that's cool. Next on the program, we're heading to a brand new, well actually, it's a brand new hotel, but it was rebranded. Like it, it was, it was a crappy hotel. Now it's a new hotel. Crappy, new. <laughs> 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 we'll talk about that in a minute, but I just wanted to mention how I actually know Dakota. So Dakota is childhood friends with Will Mitchell, who is our friend from Belize. If you guys have watched the channel for a while, you'll know that I went to Belize and did a couple videos with Will. Will has an amazing channel all about Belize, Belize real estate, living in Belize. Yeah, it's really cool. So I'm going to link that in, in the description if you want to check that out. Shout out to Will, one of the coolest people I have ever met. Very cool guy. Love that guy. And same with Dakota. Amazing people. So, so yeah, thanks to Dakota uh, for hooking that up. And uh, yeah, let's move on. So we are on our way to the not so crappy hotel anymore, like I was saying. There's a new hotel called the Lexi. And it just opened up today. It's going to be the first fully like weed friendly, marijuana friendly hotel here in Vegas. And that's kind of the angle, I think, for the hotel. Today is the grand opening, so we were invited. We're gonna hang out and check it out and show you guys around. So the original hotel was the Artisan, which I've made a video on. I called that video the most notorious hotel in Las Vegas. And I stayed there and it was just a, it was a poop show, straight poop show. Um, the bathroom, yeah, I mean, what can you say? It's, uh, I mean, look at this. And look at this, look at this, and dust, yuck, yuck, and oh my god, so much yuck back here. Ew. Ew, what is that? Ew. What is that? Why? But yeah, Artisan was sold a while ago, and uh, it's been rebranded, and now it's going to be the Lexi, so it should be cool. I cannot believe I'm back at this hotel, to be honest with you.
sure this used to be a chapel. Now it's converted into like a dining room or something. Cool. I like it. We're heading to the pool now. They still have the same creepy red light in the elevator. I like it. I'm not going to lie. I like yeah, it. I feel like I look good in this It's lighting. giving me, like, passion, you know? Ooh, ooh, passion. Yeah. Passion. Passion. Right there. Okay, so the elevator is exactly the same as it was when I was here a year and change ago. But this hallway, completely different. Completely just remodeled. They used to have really weird, borderline psychopathic imagery <laughs> on the walls. Like, really weird. The floor is different. They also used to have like weird furniture, like all over the place for no reason. Wow, this is, this is crazy. crazy. This is actually crazy. It kind of smells like Ikea in here. It smells, it smells nice, like yeah. It used to smell like someone <laughs> died. <laughs> <laughs> all right, well, that just about wraps this one up. Just wanted to thank Dakota for letting us tour Veer. I thought Veer was really cool. I don't think for me personally, I would like living there because I like living like kind of away from the strip and the uh, Peppy, Peppy, I'm trying to film stuff. So I don't think for me personally, I would like living right in the middle of the strip, but I think for a lot of people, that'd be amazing. And uh, yeah, really cool, really nice place. And then as far as the Lexi goes, I had a really good time. We just kind of were mingling and stuff like that. There were a lot of other YouTubers and Vegas content creators out there. So that was really fun, good conversations. And yeah, I'm looking forward to doing a full video there once uh, I get the opportunity, which will be soon, hopefully. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. If you haven't subscribed, make sure to subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.